Hey guys, it's Jen. I'm going to do my swatches today for these MAC palettes, which are the Art Library palettes, and this one is in Flamboyant. So this has the reddish packaging and a lot of the like warm colors inside. And then this one is the... Uh, it's designer and this one has like the rainbow effect on the inside and the outside so we're gonna go ahead and swatch those today and we're just gonna go ahead and get started so I will do the flamboyant palette first and this one is what's the pointillism <laughs> then this one is Samoa milk or Samoa silk pardon me and amber lights oops and la vida mocha and dada issues that's so weird <laughs> it's like a really nice uh, medium tone brown though really really pretty and then rule which i believe i have already swatched I am not too sure. Um, Dollywood, I actually have swatched Rule and I also have swatched Embark, I believe, which is right here, so this one, but I'm gonna swatch it anyways. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And then this one is Fan the Flames, which is so gorgeous. If you can see that incredibly beautiful, um, oh, I didn't even turn my light on, sorry guys. So this is the, fan the flame right here this one is flamboyant which is so gorgeous probably my favorite shade in the entire palette um, and next to this one which is Louvre at first sight so gorgeous I love these warm like reddish orangey tones and this one is everyone's darling which is again super gorgeous so this is one of my very favorite palettes from MAC I just love it so very much and of course the the um <clears throat> excuse me the words are not written on here or the names so I just taped them onto the palette mirror and then the next one we have is this one is the it's designer palette so I'm just going to swatch kind of going down this way. So let's see. The first one we have is Chrome Yellow, which again, I believe I already swatched for you guys. It definitely goes on better on the eye, but it's really good with a white base for sure. This one is My Kid Could Make That, which is so hilarious. And that's a really good, honestly, a really good like um, softer green shade. And then we have Bright Pink which is so gorge and this one is can't afford this which is pretty much me <laughs> I love these I love these for for sure I love them so much this next one I've used it's so gorgeous if it's called if it ain't baroque the next one is it's designer which is the name of the palette so these are very flaky shades. I highly recommend some kind of a glitter base for these for sure because they're just very glittery. Oops, and a lot of fallout. This one I've already swatched for you. It's called Starry Night. And it has the duo f effect. You can see the blue and the kind of like a reddish warm color, which would have been really nice in this other palette. Honestly, it would have been really nice in there too. This one is called Dark Room, which is a nice purple mid-toned color. It's kind of soft when it goes on, but it's like a shimmery color. So you kind of just have to work it in and it goes on really, really nice once you start playing with it a bit. Um, the next one is called High Concept which is just a nice foily type silver but again something you'd probably want to use with a base but look at those two shades together like I think that's so pretty um the next one is Gallerina very nice blue I would actually wear that that's crazy uh, another one is uh triennial wave 
took me a second to grasp that in my brain. <laughs> um, but that's just a really pretty blue. Very, very bright. It reminds me of one of their other blues, actually. And then Carbon, which I will, of course, swatch in my other palette. But I just, whatever. I'll use it here because I haven't used it yet. But these are all of the shades in It's Designer and Flamboyant. So this one is Flamboyant. And this one is It's Designer. Really, really, really stunning stunning eyeshadow palettes highly recommend if you're interested in mac at all these are gorgeous and please don't forget to check out my other mac swatches i definitely want to make sure that mac doesn't get forgotten about because they are a really really good brand with a lot of fantastic products so go ahead and check that out and i will definitely be posting more i do have a few more mac eyeshadows but i want to make sure to make these as short as possible so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys again later bye bye